Hey, don't you, us. Oh, I'm knackered already. Um, well, it's Saturday the 2nd of April, um, May, not April, we've been through April. Um, uh, just trying to catch my breath. Yeah, I've, uh, received another drop-off of, uh, computer parts. This is only about a third of it. The rest is still down in the shed. Not as many computer cases as last time. Nowhere near as many. Must be... I think we counted about eight. And they're mostly Dells. There's an Apple PC, which I was surprised to see. be interesting if that work. Uh, but yeah, most of them are Dells. So, I'm going to drag those up later. I've got what looks like a big LAN switch. And it looks like it goes into a server rack, because it's got the um, mounts on the end of it, either end of it. I've got a few... Well, I've got all sorts of bits. There's a load of monitors down there. There's probably about eight different monitors down there. Um, they're not very good, and a lot of them used to be white, but uh, have gone the typical brown colour as white plastic tends to do. So I probably won't keep those, but the guy said if they're not any good to me, he can take them back and scrap them, so that's not a problem. I'll go through and I might keep a couple, but I think most of them he can have back, actually. There's a couple there. I'm I'll keep if they work. Um, some internet routers down there. Uh, which I'll probably chuck as well because I don't really need those and they're not really worth anything. So I think there's some BT Hub 2s down there which are too old now. I don't think anyone would want them. So got fresh batteries in the camera and I've got these two bags and several other bits and bobs up here so I thought uh, we can sit here and go through them together. I'm going to just grab my little knife. I've lost my large one again so oh no I haven't. It's over here. Just in case I need it to cut that green bag over there open. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sit on my chair for the moment because that will be easier. I've got these plastics here, I'm not sure what they go to, are they for a tablet or something? Or a DS, I'm not sure. It's got mostly monsters all over it. They're in good condition and they look like they just clip on. Maybe if I can determine what they go to, I could eBay those. Possibly. Those up there. What else have we got? I think this box is primarily laptop parts. There's a mouse. An HP mouse. That doesn't rattle or anything, so hopefully that works because spare mice are always good. Yep screen for something or other. Tablet screen, maybe. DS screen, I don't know, I'm not that, ooh. Ah. Well, that can go straight in the bin, because I, I now got caught that in the light, and uh, it won't show up on camera, but that is uh, broken. There's a book here for something, I don't know what that is. Ingo Tablet 7. What else have we got in here? Main board and... I'm not sure what that is. Part of a screen, maybe? Yeah, I saw just laptop bases from the look of it. No idea if any of these boards or anything work in these. So, that's something I'll have to go through 
I'm not going to go through it now, that's part of a Dell. As usual, there's no memory, not in that one anyway, and I doubt there's going to be any memory in the others. So, I'm going to drag that out of the way, because there's no point going through that, we can see what's in the top of that. I've already got a good idea what's in this, because I filled this bin up myself. There's some sort of PC game here. The white label. I was looking for some PC games. Is the disc in there? Yeah, the disc is in there. What's the system requirements? Oh, I can't bother to read all that now. There's a couple of games. There's that one. Oh, there's Adobe Acrobat as well. Acrobat 7 Standard. Is it Adobe or is it Adobe? I was told it was actually Adobe, but I keep calling that Adobe. A very large laptop keyboard. Lots of random bits and pieces in here. There's another um, laptop motherboard. That must go over the laptop bits. Uh, there's another docking station, which I think is for a compact. Yep, yeah, that might as well go with our laptops. We've got quite a few docking stations down in the shed as well. We've got an IO shield. An expansion card for something. I'm not even sure what that is. Looks like a TV card of some sort. I'm not sure, is that an on onboard memory upgrade on there? I have to find some model numbers or names or something and um, Google that. But if it's a TV card, then it's probably for an analog TV anyway, so I doubt it'll be much use, but uh, probably a keepsake just for. Posterity. Some more heat sinks in here. And some hard drives for laptops. Uh, it's got some stickers on some of these, but I can't read the handwriting. Well, that's got needs testing on it, and that's an SATA drive. What I like about these is I don't need to put these ones in a laptop to test them. Because with SATA, Desktop SATA cables will uh, fit that. The other one's an IDE and that's got suspect put on it. I've actually got a box of hard drives uh, ooh, where did I put them? down there which have got dead written on the box, but that doesn't necessarily mean nothing. Some of them might be good or they might have just been put in the nearest box to hand, who knows. So they're still worth uh, testing. I've got loads of these. I don't need no more of them. I think these heat sinks, I may go through all my heat sinks and uh, perhaps eBay a few. Oh my god. An old PS2 mouse. <laughs> the dreaded rollerball that always used to gunk up and stop working. Well, if it works, it'll be a. Uh, useful one to put with one of my older machines at least. Bay of some sort. That looks like an Xbox cable. For Europe. The European cable. It's got the uh, European plug on it. No good to me and probably not a lot of good to anyone else so I'll have the ends cut off and probably scrap. Another uh, hard drive. That's an IDE. That's got suspect written on it as well. I'm going to stack the hard drives up there. Uh, a few laptop, a few laptop parts. Um, that. Sony PlayStation Portable. Um, 
power supply. For the um, PlayStation 2, that is. I don't know if that works, but. Here's another adapter brick. It's for an HP. I don't know if that'll fit my HP laptop. There's a SCART lead. Got loads of them, don't need that. There's another one, don't need it. Got a couple of these um, LAN switches. Or Ethernet hub, I should say. It's basically the same as what I've got connected over there somewhere, but a physically smaller version. And you can mount them on a wall. got 5 volt DC on it. I know I've got two of these, there's another one in here somewhere. There's a couple of, pro couple of processors, there's a P4 of some sort. It's not going to be any good because all the pins are got bent and damaged underneath, so... That'll be a... bin job. I mean, I could sit there with a fine screwdriver and try and bend them all back, but there's far too many that are bent. What is it, just out of idle curiosity? It is... I think it's a 2 gigahertz or something like that. I'll go in the bin. Another two laptop hard drives. Suspect and there's... Needs what? Needs checking? Yeah, needs testing. And two more IDEs, so... They need to be tested. I do have a um, adapter to change um, desktop ID connectors down to a laptop, so I can use a desktop to test those. Pinnacle systems. Not a clue. It's made in China. Surprise, surprise. But, not everything from China is crap. Because even a lot of uh, your top, top brand stuff is made in China these days. So, <laughs> there's two of these. Here's one. It's a webcam with like a Built in mic there. A suction cup on the bottom. The only other place I've seen cameras like this used is in my local council office. For when you're making applications, they, the um, head office may need a photograph of you. And they used to have cameras on the desk similar to this. Don't think they had a microphone on them though. No idea if these are going to work. Oh, but it does look like you can use the microphone separately. Because there's a separate jack for it. If I can get it in view, see? There's the USB one for the camera and a separate one for the mic. So you could actually use it as a mic. Uh, apart from that, it's lots of random stuff. Floppy drive bags. Uh... I couldn't find the rest of these for these external caddies. It's just the box. There's no connectors on the ends. That was a bit of a bummer. I do believe there's a couple of them in here. Another power brick. I don't even have a clue what this is, but it's got a USB cable connected to it. Oh! It's a keyboard! <laughs> oh, I see. It's one of them roll-up keyboards you can put into a uh, laptop bag. If you prefer to use... Ouch! prefer to use um, external. There's another processor. There's two processors in the bottom of the bin. That's an AMD... Oh, 2001 AMD Athlon. 
And that's got several bent pins as well. Just something that old I don't think is worth keeping anyway. Uh, that had a sticker of, I can't remember what the sticker said on it. So that's something to be tested. Another 5 inch fan. Right, well, see holes where LEDs were, so I don't know if it came with LEDs or if it was a LED less model. But, uh, that's something to be tested. I think that's about it. There's another another doodad. Two of those. I think they're exactly the same as the other one, but this one's rated 7.5 volt DC. Few laptop bits in the bottom. Yeah. Laptop, um, floppy disk drive. I'm not sure what laptop that would go to. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just uh, pretty much toss this lock back in here for the time being. That cable can go over there because it's no good. Well, no good to me in there. You can get them in shops easy enough, so cut up and scrap. Right, so that's that sorted. I'm probably going to end up sitting on the floor now. Uh. Yeah, there's the box of. Uh, hard drives, I haven't even looked in here to see what they are, but there's a couple of desktop drives it's got dead on it, well we'll soon confirm that see that one hasn't got dead written on it, so that one might not if we're lucky and the rest are uh, laptop drives and they do look oh no, there's a SATA we haven't got there's one there that's got something written on it it helps if I have the camera in the correct place. There's a couple of them. This one got written on. Faulty needs testing. Well, I've got the means to test them, so they will be tested. Might be a job for later, although I've got mum coming up later. Um, found this in there as well. It is an Azrock. Mini, mini ATX motherboard. Now I'm going to test this, and if it works, it will be eBay because I don't have a use for something like this. But that really is a mini motherboard. Um, it's got the IO shield with it. It's got what's this? It's even got the disc. It actually looks brand new. It doesn't even look like it's been used, to be honest. There's no, um, there's no clock battery in it, though. That's even got the book with it as well, so... It's complete. Everything is there, but... Whether it actually works or not, I don't know yet. That will be tested. And I've got a bunch of kiddie, um, keyboards. Emo's interested, look. <laughs> um, there's a Dell. There's a wireless keyboard here, but I don't have the receiver for it, so... It's got batteries in it? Nope. No batteries. No, there's a... Uh, it's a nice looking keyboard, but, you know, without the bloody... receiver, it's no good. Well, I haven't found the receiver yet, at least. It's a dusty, dirty Microsoft keyboard. That compact one's nice, I like that. It's a bit chunky, but I like it. There's a Dell one, so... Keep hold of those. Let's go through the bag that's open, shall we? Surprise, surprise, here's another keyboard. That looks wireless to me as well. Ooh, it's got batteries in it. Oh, batteries! Take those out. I haven't found any receivers for the wireless ones yet. 
There's another one in here, and I bet that's wireless. Is... No, there's a cooking tray. <laughs> oh, there's more keyboards in here, but they're laptop keyboards. Hmm, I suppose I could do something with them. What have we got? Mm. Ugh, I used to have one of these years ago. Horrible. That can go down in the bin. Ooh. A laptop battery and a... I'll definitely keep these bags. They might be static bags. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, I found a set of Christmas lights. Christmas has come early for me. Now this is an interesting thing to me. No idea what it's supposed to do. Um, it's just a KVM switch. I'm going to have to look into that because it's the first time I've heard of one. Uh, there's another lap that laptop battery. Not another laptop battery. It's a Dell adapter. Audio cable in here. Oh, yep, we've got a bag of bits there. Ooh. Let's get the bag out, shall we? It's a bag within a bag, and. Want some Christmas lights? <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells. Um, another bag of bits. There's. There's a lot else worth worrying about in here. And there's another CDRW drive, as if I haven't got enough of those already. There's another enclosure, but again without the actual connector on it. <laughs> I want one with a connector on it. Laptop uh, SATA ROM drive. And there's another battery in there. And a Dell power adapter, and that's about it. Uh, I'm not sure what is actually in here. Several of these boards. There seems to be LEDs on them. One's actually broken off. Well, I haven't broken off, it's just come unstuck. There's a load of wires been cut. There is several of these in here, and plus these. So, do they make something up? Just like a bag of jigsaw puzzle bits. I ain't got a bloody clue what this lot is. Let's tip it over. So, I've got a bunch of the same boards, a bunch of cable. <laughs> Mm. Bunch of um, really short thingies that have been cut off. That look like they've been cut off from this. Yeah, because that's yeah they have. Because there's a whole one. So I actually do believe I could put one of these back together. So if I put all the good parts. Found enough that I haven't been cut. There's a power thing. Uh, oh, well, I found three that I haven't been. Oh no, I have found four. One, two, three, four, and it's supposed to be five from the look of it. There's a board which has still got some other wires connected to it, not sure. Oh, so is that one. I suppose they go on these somehow. That will go back in that bin when I've got it emptied and that'll be chucked. Nothing any good there. Nothing any good apart from the cables. I know a man that'll have the cables. There's something. Ooh! This looks interesting. I don't think it's PC related as 
such, but it's got some LED seven segment displays on it, and loads of buttons and loads of cables. And what's this? Ah, well, it's got dead written on it, so scrap some more laptop pieces. Screen of some sort. Also, we've got USB cables. We've got shed shed here. I'll be polite. Shed loads of those. Hmm. It's like the cover glass for something, and it looks like yeah, that's been picked off of something that's all broken. Oof, I will need um bag for rubbish it seems. And another laptop adapter. And looking at that, that's probably for a Dell. Because that looked very much like a Dell connector. What? Right. So that's pretty much another bag of crap going through. Uh, before I drag the PCs up here, I will uh, sort this out. Nemo's got one on. <laughs> so I'm just going to chuck that lot over there to make a bit of room. I'll chop through any cable I don't want. I'll test those Christmas lights. Before they go. Right, they can go over there. Let's get the batteries. Find 5P. I'm rich. Right, so the last bag is this one, I'm just going to cut the bag, because no doubt I won't reuse really the bag anyway. I think these have been stood outside overnight because they're a bit wet. I don't know, though. I'm just going to uh, stand you there for a minute. While I get the bag up, I'm going to find another computer mouse. The um, computers downstairs I'll do in a different video. So, I've got what looks like a bag full of uh, laptop CD drives. Ah! I found a wireless sensor. But... I'm not sure what keyboard it goes to. Actually, it could actually belong to a mouse looking like that. Possibly. Oh no, I've had several mice in here actually. Woo, I've got loads of mice! Funny thing to get excited over, I know, but there's a... Yeah, let me just pick you up. Now you can get a good look in the bag. See, there's quite a few computer mice in here. And uh, laptop disk drives. Quite a few. There's a big pile piling up here with laptop disk drives. What's this? Hmm? Any ideas? 3CR USB. Oh, it's a Wi Fi doodah. Ah. Ooh. Never know, maybe I'll be able to find some drivers online for that and make use of it. An adapter for something there. It's not a British one, it looks like it's a European one. Uh, what mouse is that? Was several Dell mice. I bet they all came with those Dell computers downstairs. Uh, one's a rollerball, two rollerballs there. Rollerball. So they'll do these old cream coloured ones or beige ones, they'll do to put with my uh, older PCs. Didn't know Memorex did a mouse. That one looks pretty old though. Bay for something for a Dell. This computer shop specialises in Dell or something. There's a lot of Dell parts. 
another old Microsoft mouse, two button mouse, bloody hell. That's old, and it's PS2. How many mice are in here? There's another one. Ah, that's a wireless one. Ha <laughs> ha It's a Logitech one. Please, for something. Ah, monitor stand. Never know, that might go with the black monitor that's downstairs. I bet just because I want the black monitor to work, it probably doesn't bloody work, does it? And that's, that's the only one I really want to work to keep as a spare. And you know what Sod's Law is like? That's not going to work, is it? There's an Argos ball mouse and mat. Well, I don't know if the mat is in here. There's another mouse. Another three button mouse. Don't think you can get them anymore. Uh, mm. Mm. It's Logitech. It looks a bit like a numpad. Yeah, it is a wireless numpad. I wonder if that's what that's for. For this Logitech gear. I suppose I could plug it in and if it connects, it connects. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Not, oops. Not lost anything, have I? Ah! I know what these are. These are external cases for CD drives. I might be able to make use of those. I think that's what they are anyway. Floppy disk drive. Uh, oh, guess what? One mouse. Another old tracker. Uh, only a couple of USB mice I think I found so far. They've all been PS2. An Alba. That's an optical. What's this one? It's another old Microsoft 2 button. And another one. Which is a Microsoft with a scroll wheel. So that's a bit newer. Not much newer, but a bit newer. Uh, phone cable. Don't need that. What's this? Dynamo hub. Don't think I'll have a use for that. Some laptop adapters. It's a big ass. Sorry about that, guys. The um, battery compartment flung open, so it didn't save the last part of the video I did. So I've actually lost that. Never mind. Uh, all. What I was talking about before that happened was the uh, eight port, well no, it's seven port uh, USB hub. Uh, it's not something you really use these days, is it? There's a DC input jack on it. It's something I'll test. Anyway, while well, I decided to uh, download the footage I already had, while I was doing that, I've had a bit of a sort out. That's a bag of rubbish. That's a bag of cable. And I'm about to sort through that lot. And probably throw all those mice in the top there. That keyboard. And a manky looking mouse. And... The yeah, wireless receiver I found, receiver and transmitter, all goes together. It's all Nortex, so I've kept that to test it. Uh, yeah, but uh, that was pretty much it for this computer haul video part one. I'm going to finish clearing up so I can get some more stuff up here. I'm not going to bother with the computer monitors. They can stay downstairs. I'll just do the PCs for now. And uh, have a look at those in the next video. 
So, thank you very much for watching. Big thumbs up if you liked the video, or a big thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, helps me either way. Um, and until part two of this computer haul video, I'll see. Talk to you again soon. Bye.